I missed that. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome from Well, well Crochet. Uh, hope you're having a most excellent day. Well, thank you so much. Well, actually, um, I'm not sure where you're from, Auntie, but I am actually in Melbourne, Australia. And our Christmas has actually ended for the day. It's actually the 26th of January. Now, I don't, I'm sorry, let's try 26th of December. Oh, what? 26th of December. Now, I don't usually do my lives here, guys, so it's a little bit awkward with the lighting. I do apologise in advance, um, but there you go. I hope that's okay. <laughs> I hope you can see properly. Welcome. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. And it is the 26th of December, 2020. We don't really want to be reminded of the year, but let's just say it is the day after Christmas Day here for us in Melbourne, Australia. And welcome, everyone, for our final... What? Final live for 2020. True, 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 true. Now, I will wait for a few other people to get on, but we are only doing this final live for 2020. We will resume our lives again early in the year of next year, um, but I won't be doing a live on Wednesday. I did want to wait for other people to get on <laughs> before I said that, but I'll repeat it again later. And I hope you all had a good Christmas. For those of you who had Christmas yesterday with us, uh, for those of you who are in Christmas now, oh, I hope you're having a good Christmas. Because I know um, around the world, it's actually Christmas Day right now. Whereas here in Melbourne, it is uh, Boxing Day. We call it Boxing Day, day after Christmas Day. And it's time to relax and forget all about all that Christmas yummy food that we <laughs> ate yesterday. Cheers, by the way. I got my crochet. I'm in my crochet. My coffee today. I'm so tired. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Mmm. So what we're going to do today, it is definitely going to be a very short live today. Well, when I say very short live, it'll be shorter than our normal ones. <laughs> and we're just going to discuss what's going to happen over the next week here at Wow Crochet. Now, as you know, uh, I mentioned that I was going to come on today. We're going to do normal things. Uh, hello, Yvette. Hello. Very nice to hear your new name here on our lives. I've not seen your name before. Welcome. Uh, and Ghost Hacker Angela, welcome. Merry Christmas to you too. Um, so I thought I'd pop on today and I wasn't going to, but I thought I would so that we can discuss what's going on. Uh, and this week I've, I found myself waking up this morning very, very tired. <laughs> Hello, Paula. Now, I didn't overdo it yesterday. I just feel myself a little drained. Hello, Jeannie. Merry Christmas again to the both of you. And um, so I've woken up a little bit drained and I thought, you know what, I'm going to skip Wednesday's live. I'm going to take a little bit of a break this week, just a little bit. <laughs> um, but I will be uploading the last two final parts of um, the convivial cushion. And um, everyone's saying hello to you. It's cute. Everyone says hello to everyone. It's such a beautiful community. We have here at Wild Crochet. Um, <laughs> so um, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought to myself, mm, what what shall we do for the week? We'll definitely get the convivial cushion out. That's not an issue. Whether I make something, a little small something, just to brighten up your day. I don't know. Maybe we can do a rose or a carnation or something. Who knows? I haven't thought about it. We might do something just before the new year, just to, you know, kick off that new year and get into the better year. <laughs> we want a better one than one we just had. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I will resume normal work um, on the 2nd of January. That will be the next Saturday live that you will get from me. But there'll be no Wednesday live before then. Um, I thought I'd get up and just let you know now. Get in the, you know, advance. I'm going to drop this a little bit because I feel myself stretching over. Oh, that's better. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of going like this to talk to you. You'll look up my nose. You don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I thought we'll just do it this way for this week so that I can take a little bit of a break. Like I said, I've woken up um, and I didn't like I didn't drink anything or anything, but I've woken up very drained this morning, very tired. I didn't overdo anything. I just sat and talked to family as you do. Yeah. And I thought, you know what, because of that, I'm just going to take that break. Um, I hope 2020 will be an improvement. Don't we all, Paula? <laughs> <laughs> we all I tell you what I have a friend of mine who said she wants to do exactly what I want to do and we just want to kick 2020 in its little dairy air there <laughs> right out the window we don't want anything to do with it <laughs> we're fed up with it <laughs> um so fingers crossed things start to get a little better for the rest of the world the whole world we're all in it together guys <laughs> we're all in it um so fingers crossed in the meantime 
what we're going to be doing is doing what we do the best, crochet. <laughs> Did you expect anything less for me to get on and say nothing about crochet? Come on, guys. You know me by now. <laughs> Uh, yesterday I did a very short Christmas video and I popped that little, I call it a star. Um, it's not exactly a star, it's a snowflake, but I called it a star because it just reminds me of a star. And Paula says, one, two, three, let's all kick together. <laughs> I'm kicking harder than you guys, right? Uh, I really think we needed a 2020 to give us all a reality check. Yeah, auntie, maybe, but we really didn't need it that much. Not with all the drama that did cause... If it caused a little bit less drama, maybe. But it was just far too much drama for one week, one year. <laughs> it was too much for me, sorry. <laughs> um, look, I understand where you're coming from. And uh, there are a lot of things and a lot of people out there who don't appreciate what they have and who they have with them. Uh, have you changed your tree? No, I haven't. I'll talk to you in a minute about the tree. Um, but we, we still didn't want it that bad. <laughs> uh, maybe reality TV will disappear now. Oh, here's hoping. <laughs> He's hoping. I actually agree with you there. Um, Angela, no, I haven't changed the tree. What has happened is I usually do my um, lives over in the crochet corner, but I thought just for today, since it's still Christmas Day somewhere around the world, I'll do the live right here. It's a little bit awkward. The, I know the lighting's a bit off, and I think it's because we've got a dark tree behind us. And from far away, the tree looks a lot brighter. Uh, close up, we've got a little bit less gear on it. Not, we've made a mess of that. I say I, but it's actually we, because the whole family got together and we just sort of put things everywhere. <laughs> we made a mess of it. Um, but it doesn't matter. It's up there. <laughs> and it looks like, thank you, Angela. <laughs> Hope you had a great Christmas, Richard. It was okay. I can't complain. I admit to breaking the diet very much. Not even a little bit. I admit to eating some gorgeous cake. Shh, don't tell... Well, I had to write it in <laughs> like a loser. Um, and I admit to having, you know, two barbecues in one day. What? <laughs> and I admit to eating, see how naughty I am, eating seafood on Christmas Eve. Not normal seafood. We're talking shell food stuff. <laughs> We're talking oyster Kilpatrick. We're talking prawns. And I'm in a lot of trouble with the diet <laughs> just for this past two days. But you know what? I'm back to it again. <laughs> I'm back on track. Thank you, Richard, for asking. I do hope your Christmases have gone well, guys. And I know there's some people uh, who are actually still having their Christmas now, which is great. So Merry Christmas to you. And I hope that you are at least enjoying toast and coffee. <laughs> you can't get any prawns out there. <laughs> They're very expensive. <laughs> it cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> oh, well, we'll replace it during the year next year. <laughs> um, Tune in till further notice. <laughs> Look, um, if I had to do that again, I wouldn't. But I thought I had been dieting for like seven weeks, six weeks, whatever it is. And I just wanted a little bit. I didn't eat a lot. I didn't overeat, but I did eat. <laughs> it was so naughty. But it was a good naughty. It wasn't a bad naughty. I didn't drink. I had no alcohol. What? I always have. I know this sounds weird. People look at me and think, really? But I always have beer in Christmas. I know it's not that elegant, is it? <laughs> I don't claim to be elegant. I claim to like beer. <laughs> but I usually, because we have summer Christmas here in Melbourne, Australia, so it's usually quite warm. It wasn't very warm yesterday. It was quite cool. <laughs> but I didn't, it wasn't cold, cold. It was like a mild. Um, and I didn't get that opportunity to drink some beer. So I'm very sad. <laughs> Maybe New Year. <laughs> anyway, so that was my Christmas day. It was very busy. It was with family. Um, I tell you what, those presents, it was like a disaster. There was paper everywhere. <laughs> but the kids had a good time. You know what? That's what it's all about. Uh, dumpster fire. <laughs> a dumpster fire, Richard. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Cheers to you, by the way, guys. Hmm. I am in need of this coffee. Uh, I have not had any energy all year. I finally had some this week. So I cooked, baked, packed, or oh, baked, packed, and sorting. I ate way too much <laughs> as it's just me. Oh, look, hey, auntie, eat as much as you like on this week. Uh, going a lot better than Thanksgiving did, lol. 
Okay, so everybody, we've all had our little dramas this year. And I have to say, when I was younger, not even younger, this is talking three years ago, um, I really enjoyed Christmas a lot. But it's a little bit sadder for us these past couple of years as we lost someone just before Christmas in 2019, someone very close. And so Christmas sometimes is really hard for us. <laughs> but we got through it. We got through, As you do, we get through it. Um, it was messy in snow all around. Oh, I could have done with it. You know, I keep telling people, and I'll say it again and again, I have never seen snow. <laughs> I am old, and I have not... No, I'm not old. <laughs> really? <laughs> Much. And I have never seen snow. <laughs> I think I might make it my goal this year to, to get up to the mountains in our area and see some snow. Um, yeah, I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I really want to see it. <laughs> One day. One day. <laughs> but anyway... So the Christmas was that we did eat, and this was the first Christmas ever, and I say this honestly, that I did not overeat, and only because I was thinking of the diet. But I still did have, um, for those of you living in Australia, know what this dessert is, it's called pavlova. I still did have a little pav. Now, pav is made of um, egg whites and sugar, and then it's like a cake, and then on top you pop all this cream, and then you've got, hey, it's got fruit on top. <laughs> it was half healthy. Uh, snow is pretty, but a mess. Yeah, <laughs> so I've been told. <laughs> I'll just have to take your word for it. Um, Coventry won't get it as bad. Uh, uh, video is just freezing. It's cold there. Uh, we lost three major family members since the middle of August to the 4th of December this year. Has shown me the importance of being close to family. Look, you know, it is tough. And especially once that happens, you know, you try to get through it as best you can. Come the first holiday or first you know, fun thing that you used to do together and whew, you have trouble coping with. And that's exactly what we did. Two years later, we're still not doing well. But, you know, it happens. And we just have to do the best we can with the family members that we have around with us <laughs> and our friends and our YouTube subscribers out there, our wonderful subscribers. Now, guys, the other reason I'm not doing a live Wednesday coming is because on Thursday, I think it's Thursday, I could be wrong, <laughs> A little bit maybe a day after a day later is new year's eve now new year's eve i usually get on and do a small video vlog and i pop it up um probably during the day around three or four or something like that and i um announce subscriber of the year ah! <laughs> and that is going to happen on new year's eve and i have to say i did eventually from three i've narrowed it down to two but i really can't choose between the two so I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I had to invent, invent this silly thing that I did last year and I can't keep up with it now <laughs> because I can't decide. So I don't know whether to divide the prize between the two or to actually narrow it down by the skin of my teeth and I still don't know <laughs> who it will be. Okay. Uh, Paula says, family rock. Yay. <laughs> of course they do. Uh, you will get there, Mary. Love you. And we'll hug. Thank you, Ghost Hacker. Um, we are all joking, saying all the cool people are celebrating on the other side. Well, hey, maybe they're right. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Hello, Kiki. Welcome. Welcome, Kiki. Um, creative at heart. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy Boxing Day to us Aussies. Thank you so much from the UK. Thank you. Creative. That's lovely. Merry Christmas to you guys as well. Um, prayers and condolences, Tony. I know. it's Look, it's tough, um, especially when we don't have those family members around for 2020. Yes. Yes. Let's kick 2020 out. Richard, we just don't want it. We don't want 2020 anymore. We've had enough. We're fed up with it. <laughs> We're fed up. <laughs> uh, New Year's Eve band here. New Year's Eve. Oh, there, yes. Um, yeah, for 2020, subscriber of the year for 2020. Um, the lady who won it last year, Suzanne from, oh, I keep forgetting the name, God, Crochet and Create. I always forget that part of it. <laughs> I remember Suzanne. I always forget the part that's, you know, her name, <laughs> her business name. Um, and so she won it last year, and she actually is going to have another year of free patterns now the reason is I was supposed to upload my patterns this year I never did <laughs> and these are patterns that I don't put on YouTube they are paid patterns but she's going to be getting um, the year's worth of free patterns out of all those paid patterns 
So the person who wins it this year will be exactly the same. Next year, they'll get the free patterns for the year. Any paid pattern that I pop up on my um, soon to be <laughs> website, they will get it for free. And like, that's amazing because I don't give them away. <laughs> I don't even like to make paid patterns. I like to keep it all to myself and just show the pattern on YouTube. And that's that. That's the way I've always been. <laughs> but I'm breaking with tradition <laughs> and popping them up and selling them as well. And also giving away the free patterns. We're going to have a lot of free patterns on the website. And there will be some free patterns that are smaller items, uh, items that you can create in 15 minutes, maybe half an hour, depending on how advanced you are um so you know that's all happening in the new year it's all coming get ready guys and so the person who wins that this year gets free patterns as well next year all year <laughs> so that's pretty cool uh i look forward to a wonderful 2020 don't we all oh hang on one. i've missed something um you're talking to, okay auntie Ver vernon i think it is auntie am i saying auntie vernon Vermin, Auntie Vermin or Vernon? <laughs> I can't see with these eyes today. I'm, I'm right out of it. Um, yes, yeah, so that's going to happen on New Year's Eve. And it won't, won't be a live. It won't be a tutorial. It'll just be like a short uh, video. Oh, let's get that out of the way. We'll get rid of all this. We don't want that and we don't want that. Oh, there's a bit of noise here in the background. Sorry, guys. I'm just getting rid of everything. We're done. That's gone. Um, I do apologise there. <laughs> And so that's going to happen on the 31st of December. So that's partly the reason why I'm not doing the live. The other reason is I'm a little bit drained and I do need a break. <laughs> and I'm taking this week to have the break. However, this week you will get parts three and parts four of the convivial cushion. And that's that. That's pretty much all I needed to say today. Uh, there was a little something that I wanted to mention about what's happening um, in the first week. Of New Year and you deserve a break. I do this year, Kiki. I think I've overworked. Well, I say overworked. I've just overworked by sitting on my derriere <laughs> and doing crochet. <clears throat> but I do need this week. It's also um, not even that quiet week because I've organised a couple of business things that too exactly that maybe become something in the new year for our channel and I'm not telling you <laughs> but it has to be done this week otherwise I can't sort it out for the new year <laughs> and I just want it all done <clears throat> take time to relax and refresh we appreciate all you give to us thank you so much and I will take this week this week will be definitely a relaxed week you will find the odd video that will go up that will be um, not exactly um, crochet it might be something small about you know what's happening um, and I will also mention in the comment section or our community section uh, if I do attract a few more um, interviews for the week, for the first week or the second week in January. Um, I do know that I'll be having a chat with my elderly sister, or what's my elderly, oldest sister, I shouldn't say elderly, she's not old, older sister Teresa. Um, enjoy your downtime, we all need it from time to time, and I do actually. Um, and I'll be seeing my oldest, I'll be seeing all my sisters today, actually. We are heading off to the cemetery to visit our parents there. And so we're all getting together today. And maybe, maybe I can convince Teresa to get up and do our little um, Tunisian interview. Well, firstly, her interview. And to maybe do a little Tunisian project. I'm not sure what um, we'll make with her Tunisian project. Maybe a face washer. Maybe a washcloth, whatever. I'm not sure what we're going to make, but she's definitely, we're going to talk to her today about that. You should do a live on Facebook and Unwind Cafe when they open again. No dumpster fire for 2020. Well, I, oh, you mean you can't do a dumpster fire there? I've never heard of it done here in Melbourne. You must not be in, obviously, in Melbourne. Um, you're a, um, Iowa? Is that you in Iowa? I'm, I'm confused who was there now. <laughs> <laughs> someone was there um but we don't do those things um here at melbourne the only thing they do here that could be um crowd pleasing is the fireworks and new year that's all we do so i'm not sure what no dumpster fire means it doesn't mean anything to us here but obviously it might mean something to you where you're from richard so um yeah so that's coming up the january of the new year we are going to be having at least one interview oh i don't know who yet trying to get answers from three different people fireworks are cancelled here this year oh, of course of course 
it, it means that there's too many people that are going to be crowding um, the area. I haven't, we never really go. I used to go when the kids were little. Um, it was uh, fun for the kids to see. I know. I just don't, I don't really, I don't really like the idea of standing around waiting for something you can see on TV. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Um, thank goodness, creator says, thank goodness. Look, I'm not sure what you mean there. So I can't even say what, you know, because we've never done whatever that fire is. What's it called? Something fire, that Richard said. A dumpster fire. I don't know what that means. I never went either, people. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a people face on people. Well, I am. Don't get me wrong. Like I've, where we went yesterday, there was people everywhere, but family that you knew. Uh, I quit going when I had the three anxious dogs. I, I know, right? The dogs in the area, they go, oh, they go crazy. We used to have a dog that would climb the fence like a cat just to get out because she was so scared, literally like a cat. I've never seen a dog do that. She was a cross between, actually, she's probably the reason why. She was a cross between one of our Australian worker dogs that actually practically climb on top of the sheep to get them to move. Um, so I can see why. <laughs> She glowed fence, but she did. She looked literally like a cat, and she was the face, and she was, ah, she was so angry. <laughs> the fireworks would come up. So yeah, we just let her climb and go. <laughs> she come back when she feels like it, and then one day, she just never came back. That was terrible. I was a four and a half year that we had her, and she was such a good dog, but not when thunderstorms and not when firecrackers and all sorts of weird things happen. And no fireworks, no. But she didn't like that. <laughs> But anyway, guys, so um, in the new year, I've got my book here. So we're going to be talking about that. In the new year, there's going to be um, some definite interviews. Um, I'm sorry to mean to lean up in there. <laughs> I did go and grab my book. I got the book. I got the pen. <laughs> and we're getting sorted out. Uh, we've got Godfather Monopoly set 18 plus. You're playing that New Year's Eve. Oh, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> All right. So I'm not a big New Year's fan either because where we used to celebrate New Year's every year forever and that person is no longer with us. So I don't really take well to New Year. Uh, loud noises are the pits for my chihuahuas. Oh, chihuahuas, you're so little and so cute. <laughs> I don't know what it's like with the Pomeranian because we um, actually... I think it was fine with him. I didn't hear him last year. We were, we were here. I've got the hiccups now. Sorry, guys. We were here last year. Let me get another drink. We were here last year and I didn't hear him move. He was he slept the whole time. So it didn't really affect him much. The cat gets a bit stressed, but she doesn't do anything. She just sort of like, you know, jumps around and then she walks, paces a lot and goes back to bed and annoys the dog. And <laughs> but the dog's fine. But you never know, this is a new year and everybody's just overly excited this year because they want to get rid of it. <laughs> Everybody wants to get rid of 220. Um, I bring in the New Year's every year by sleeping. <laughs> Such a grandma. Hey, nothing wrong with sleeping. I don't even know what we're doing this year. I probably won't be doing anything. You never know because oh, look, usually we used to spend it um, in the same place every year and that's no longer available. So it's a different world now. Um, yeah, it's a good idea to sleep, isn't it? I might even just sleep. We'll see how we go. Um, all right, guys. So what I'm going to do, what's today? Does anybody know the day? I know the date. 26. Is it Saturday? Saturday. What am I saying? Saturday, because I do my last. <laughs> oh, wake up, Mary. Told you I was tired. Um, did you get anything nice? Got on um, update camera and a drone. Oh, okay. What did I get? Oh, my gosh. I've got a mental blank. I've got... Um, Volgari or Volgari perfume. Um, what did I get? That was from the KK. Uh, from another KK. Oh, I haven't got it here. I think it's still in the car. <laughs> Yesterday I got it. I've got to show you. Oh gosh, maybe I should do another live. Oh, it's fantastic. Um, my sister's son, my nephew, he had me as a KK, and he thought this was a great present. It's a little pack, um, and inside there you've got. Uh, little tiny skeins of yarn, or whatever little skeins of yarn, <laughs> little ones, and you've got patterns to make um, cacti, <laughs> little cacti plants. So cute! I have to show you. I couldn't find it this morning, so it's probably in the car. I know we we bought it home, but it's probably still in the car. And I was a bit disappointed because all the other rubbish came in. 
<laughs> I'll just say rubbish. <laughs> I really wanted that to show you. And I forgot all of that. I said, I'll go to the car and check. And I literally forgot beforehand. So I do apologize. But yet, yeah, I love that. That was the best. And I'm going to be creating, I don't know if I'm allowed to do it as a tutorial on YouTube. I'll see because it's it's a pack. We'll see. If I can do it as a tutorial, if I find out whether I can do it as a tutorial, I'll do one. If not, I'll just have to show you my um, end results for one of them. And I think there's enough yarn in there to make five or six little cacti. <laughs> we don't say little, they're this small. So my hands will be, ah. Oh. <laughs> and you have to use a 2.5 millimeter hook. So it's a pretty small hook. Uh, you can I watch pack tutorials all the time. Okay, well, I'll, I'll see. This was bought in Big W. So it was one of our, um, I would like to call it, cheaper stores in Melbourne. Cheaper than Target and Kmart. That's what I want to say. <laughs> oh, did I say that out loud? Um, but my nephew went there and he, he said, that's it. That's Auntie Mary. That's her. So he bought it. <laughs> Just caught your live feed while uh, being... Beaches on my sofa. Beaches? Watching beaches, maybe? Is that what you mean? The movie Beaches? On my sofa after our late night Christmas cheese fest. <laughs> Hope everyone has had a, have a lovely day. Look, I I did eat. I didn't overeat, which is good. Um, but lovely to have you here, Kat. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't overeat. And you know what? I had a really good sleep because when I overeat, it makes my tummy really sick. So I had a really good sleep last night, but I still feel very drained. Maybe I dehydrated. Maybe I need some more water instead of coffee. Um, <laughs> whoops. And I think that's what I'll do today. Just drink some water. Good morning, Margaret. Hello. I hope you're well. Beached. Oh, bloated. Hello. Oh, wake up, Mary. Um, I just saw beaches. Did I see beach? Maybe I saw it wrong. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I know I didn't overeat. I thought, no, nah, I'm not going to do that this year because of my diet. I'm going to do a workout today to make up for the food that I did eat yesterday. <laughs> As you do. Um, I'll just go back to the diet today. What do you do? I broke it once. I'm not even going to break it on New Year's because we don't really... To us, it wasn't really a food thing, New Year's. It's more just a celebration of passing that year and, and going into New Year. We made it to the next year kind of thing. And, yeah, it's a bit sad these days, but <laughs> we still do it as you do cheers everyone having a good christmas out there hope you're drinking i didn't have eggnog this year hope you're drinking eggnog i didn't have any i'm so sad i love eggnog oh i love anything with egg in it like if i'm if i break the diet i'll break it well it's not breaking it because you can have egg in the diet i'll break it to have like um well it is breaking it because you don't you know how to fry it you not let it fry it, but I fry egg in just that little bit of oil and I have fried egg. Fry it one side and fry it the other side. It's beautiful. Pop it on some toast. Beautiful. <laughs> so I break it for that. But otherwise I have the poached eggs or I'll have scrambled eggs the way they tell you to scramble them. Um, they've got some really great ingredients, but I'm thinking, oh, it's just far too much food. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, but it's far too much of the healthy food. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having, like, you know, some nice fatty food. No, I won't. I'll be a good girl. Now, <laughs> let's get back to business. The very first tutorial you'll see coming up over the next week will be part three. I'm writing it down as we speak, and I'm not even writing it on a straight line. I'm just making a big mess. Uh, will you have your sisters before New Year's Eve like last year? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. It wasn't last year, actually. It was the year before. I didn't go anywhere last year. I stayed home. Um, I'm not sure actually. We we are seeing each other today. We've got to go, you know, to do our um, cemetery trip, our annual <laughs> cemetery trip together. Um, but we'll see. We will see. But definitely um, part three is coming this week and part four will definitely come this week as well. I will clear them both off before the new year. Uh, they are in the system. I just, I did edit them and I messed it up. So I'm going to have to re-edit <laughs> <laughs> but part three won't take long to do because it's half of part four, obviously. Um, I keep watching. It makes me smile. Oh, do you? <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, it's, we just lost it that time. We all got together, the four of us, and we hadn't planned it. We had planned to, you know, have New Year's together. 
And I always bring my crochet with me in the car anyway. I've got two sets of crochet, one in the glove box <laughs> and one I bring with me. And um, I walked in and my other sister had her knitting bag and the other sister had her knitting bag. That's right, Ghost Hacker 2018. And then the other one had her her paints or her, not paints, her, um, her, she draws. So she had all the, whatever colours she had. I don't know if they were watercolours or what they were. And it was just funny that we all bought it the same day and we didn't plan it. I know, I chew. Thanks, Creative, for reminding me. <laughs> I had to do I chew twice because both of them bought knitting. <laughs> Three times, I chew. Um, and, <laughs> and so we, we just sat around and then we just, I don't know what happened to us. We just lost it. And you don't know, have those days where you just get absolutely silly and that's what we did. Wasn't planned. I, when It was sort of half planned because when we were mucking around together, I thought, this would be so funny on live so I put it on <laughs> and so we were still in the mode <laughs> and we just kept going but I don't know if we can do that again because that wasn't something that we actually thought let's go on and do that no that was just accidental <laughs> so there you go <laughs> and you know that because all of my planned work I edit and I add some music and things I didn't do that I just said it and it put it straight up and went oh should I put that up <laughs> we were very naughty but in a good way. We didn't want to hurt anyone, just ourselves, <laughs> as you do every new year. But like I said, what we used to do in the new year, we would have been dancing in the garage when we were younger with our six inch high heel shoes, <laughs> as you do. Uh, those are the best kind of sister days. <laughs> uh, they don't always end up that way creative, but that was a good one. Sometimes we have some huge fights. <gasps> no, it's your fault, no, you did it. <laughs> I like those ones. They're fun. <laughs> They're not. They don't end very well. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we are normal humans. Sorry. <laughs> I'm nothing special. We're pretty normal. <laughs> We're pretty average. <laughs> oh, less than average, I think. <laughs> are they going to murder me for saying this? <laughs> I'm in trouble now. <laughs> so, part... Oh, I've got sidetracked. Part three and part four definitely coming this week. I want to clear it out before the new year. Whilst I'm here, I'm still holding this coffee. It's going cold. Let me have another drink. <laughs> mm. I think I better stop drinking it. It's like yuck. <laughs> it's like ice. Um, I did want to show you again the cushion. Like on baby cushion. Ta-da! It's gorgeous. You know what? The only thing about this yarn, it's gorgeously soft. I didn't think it was going to be that soft, but it's really soft. So it came out all right. I was a bit unhappy with this part. That's me being fussy. Um, but everybody, you know, who sees it, oh, I love it, I love it. Mm, I don't like it. <laughs> I like this part. I think with this part, because I'm more of a 3D-ish kind of crochet, I love 3D, crochet 3D, I mean 3D crochet, um, that this part is what I wanted to really produce I thought I'll give it a backing because all of my pillows I tend to make sure cushions pillows cushions I tend to make sure I have two different styles depending on the mood that I'm in that's the type that stays when I want you know a calming effect when I want to have some friends around and have a big party like you know sit down and crochet <laughs> you know that kind of party then I'll put this side but I've already been using this side more often than not so mm, there you go um, uh, who's that? Hello, Blair. Merry Christmas to you, lovely. Um, so there you go. That's that side. That's the other. And you're definitely getting <clears throat> the final two parts of the tutorial this week. And it's done and dusted. Nightingale crochet, welcome. And a Merry Christmas to um, because I notice a lot of you um, who are on at the moment are from overseas, and I'm assuming it's still your Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Or in your case, I think sometimes you say Happy Christmas. Here we say Merry, um, but a lot of places say Happy Christmas. Let's just do them both. Merry Happy Christmas <laughs> to you all. Um, so <clears throat> that cushion is definitely coming. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I was talking a lot yesterday, as you can probably worked out. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you, Nightingale. Um, and so, oh gosh, what are we doing in the new year? There is so much we're doing in the new year. Uh, I hope you had a good one so far. I can't complain. It's okay. Uh, do you think I will do the shell? 
I'll have a chat with you. I know I said I'd have a chat with you earlier, Ghost Hacker, but I haven't had a, a chance. There she is, Suzanne from God Crochet and Chatter. Suzanne, lovely Suzanne. I wanted to say, um, firstly, Merry Christmas, because it's your Christmas at the moment from memory. Yes. <laughs> I believe it's the afternoon where you are or the evening on Christmas Day. Am I correct in saying that? Confirm, Suzanne, when you get a chance. Um, Suzanne won our Subscriber of the Year last year, and I promised her um, free paid patterns, any free pad patterns that we had this year. And Suzanne, I never had the opportunity to upload those paid patterns because I just was too busy with this horrible year that we've had. So you're going to get another year of free paid patterns. Ah! <laughs> Along with whoever wins the um, subscriber of the year this year. So um, I just thought I'd let you, you know that because you missed out because I kept saying, oh, I'll upload the pattern soon and we'll do them soon. And I never did. <laughs> so I just wanted to let you know they're there. <laughs> they're there. They're coming. <laughs> they're not there. They're coming. And what have I got here? We've got uh, be safe. Yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, hello, Victoria. Um, yes, that's OK. Because oh, I promised you last year and I never did them this year. I was supposed to do them this year. And then when this hit this horrible year hit, I thought I'll put it off, I'll focus just on the channel so that everybody at home can have something to do while they're at home. And I just didn't get that opportunity. I actually Googled the origins of Boxing Day yesterday. Did you? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's the day you would box up presents for your servants. Oh, really? <laughs> didn't know that. Well, there you go. Something new. Um, so, yeah, we just learned something new. Thank you, Kiki. Um, Boxing Day to me has always just been there's a public holiday after Christmas Day. That's all it means to me. <laughs> you know, growing up, you think, I've got to go to work, I've got to go to work. Yay, Boxing Day, I don't have to go to work. That's how I used to, <laughs> that's how we used to live, right? Um, so you get to rest after that big busy Christmas Day that you had the day before. That was the best thing. So <laughs> I never really knew the origins of it. So thank you, Kiki, for that. <laughs> um, so first week in New Year, we may not get the first interview, but I think within the first two weeks, we'll get our very first interview for 2020. And I have another two people in mind that I'm going to interview. They don't know it yet, but I'm going to send them some emails this week and see if they can accept. Uh, I was bored with the food come after Christmas uh, lunch yesterday. <laughs> oh, Christmas coma, sorry. After Christmas lunch. That's funny. <laughs> oh, food coma. <laughs> I love that. Uh, so what you're going to make now. Blair, you've just popped in, so you've missed it. What we're going to do is we're going to focus on finishing off that pillow this week. And early in the first week of the new year, if I get an opportunity during the week this week, I'll pop up something small. I don't know if I will. And I'm not going to push myself because I'm a little bit tired. As a child, Boxing Day was about visiting boring old relatives. <laughs> That's funny, cat. <laughs> For me, it was about, oh, it was kind of about staying calm after a busy day the day before. And when you're a child, Boxing Day was the opportunity to play with all your toys. Your parents left you alone and you got to play with all your toys. Now, we didn't have a lot of toys growing up, I've got to admit, but the toys we did have, oh, precious as. I mean, and half the times my sister and I, we... One of my, I had four sisters, I had three sisters, um, and the one who was, you know, a few years older than me, we would go into the kitchen and open up our kitchen cupboards and they would kind of meet <laughs> and we would play supermarket. One would stand on one side, one would stand on the other, and all the food from the cupboard would come out and we'd play supermarket. Um, so, and that was even without the toys. So, yeah, it was Boxing Day was just play day. We just had some fun. But as an adult, it was, yes, no work today. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's funny because now that I do this kind of I say kind of full time because I don't do it all the time uh, kind of full time I never say yay no work today I love it I get upset when I miss it um, I just wanted to jump on and say uh, thanks to Mary but, oh thank you Suzanne <laughs> uh, I've always understood Boxing Day is about churches in the middle here we go some more information medieval Britain having a collection during the services for the poor and helping those in need. Isn't this interesting, the two different facts of we should do some homework on Boxing Day? You know what? Maybe I'll plan to do some homework for next year. <laughs> and we'll have a Boxing Day special. <laughs> what do you reckon, guys? <laughs> well, 
Where do I get my foot? I put my foot in it all the time. Zip it. I do things to myself that just zip. <laughs> um, thank you, Suzanne, by the way. And I'm um, thank you for dropping in and saying hello to us. And you will be receiving those free patterns next year because that's news is coming in January. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have to wait till January. I don't want to do anything new here for this horrible year. <laughs> I want to brighten everybody's new year. <laughs> Sometimes, Blair, not always cute. <laughs> Especially first thing this morning. I was not a good look. You did not want to see what I look like this morning. <laughs> oh, it's a classic. Um, look, so that's what was happening at the end of this week. In the new year. Now, usually the first week in January, I pop up a video of what we're going to be doing throughout the year of 2021, let's say, because that's next year. So I'm still going to do that. I, I propose a challenge. Okay, creative, talk to us about the challenge. Is that the same thing we're talking about? I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do the Boxing Day challenge. <laughs> this is going to take me all year to do it. <laughs> it's, a bit like the, <laughs> it's a bit like the Halloween challenge thing that I did the story for Halloween and you had to be a crocheter to understand anything I said throughout it. Uh, you're so funny you laughed. Oh, you think my laugh is funny. <laughs> you should see when I'm really funny. You should see when I'm really laughing and I can't control it. The eyes water, cheekbones are so high that I am in pain around here. <laughs> my ears hurt. <laughs> it is just, it's really bad. Um, in a good way. <laughs> It was bad in a good way. And so uh, the first week of January, let's get back to business. Oh, I always get sidetracked. First week of January, I can't get it out. Um, there will be a video explaining what we are going to be doing next year. And what I do along the way is, in fact, I might get out last year's, this year's, first week and pop it up and just put a little, towards the end of that first week, Put a little a few skits in there saying, well, that never happened. This happened. That definitely happened. That happened, but it changed the whole thing. So I do plan it in the beginning of the year to do things. And then throughout the year, I add things. I change it. I did say we were going to do those fingerless gloves. Eventually, I think we did it in August, July or August. I can't even remember now. But it was later in the year. And that was planned two years before. <laughs> so there are occasions when... Um, Things change and I, you know, mess up. Uh, okay, what's your thing? He says, 2021, everyone make an item of their choice and send to Mary to donate to charity of her liking. Oh, that's a dangerous game you're playing there, creative. <laughs> I'll have a list of charities. It's a dangerous game. Okay, by the end of November for holidays. Oh, creative. Oh, we may have to do this. <laughs> Let me think about it over the new year and get back to you on it. Happy Boxing Day, Mary. It's still Christmas here in the US. I thought it would be. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you and happy Boxing Day to us. <laughs> I think we are having an earthquake here. The building's shaking. I'm not sure if it's high winds. How about that, guys? Keep an eye on um, Coventry in England. There's some issues with their building moving around. Mm, that's interesting. Keep, your, keep us um, informed, Angela. Keep us informed. Have you had a Christmas so far, Mary? A good Christmas. Um, it's, it's been okay. I can't complain. It hasn't been, there's been no dramas. <laughs> I say that earnestly because every year there's always something weird that happens. There's been no dramas in the home front. Everybody was happy. I was happy. The children were happy. The Extra family members were okay. There were no problems. So, yes, I can say it's been a good year, <laughs> a good Christmas this year. As opposed to the year being a good year, no, not at all. <laughs> but Christmas, yeah, it's been good. It's okay. Has everyone had a good Christmas so far, if they're still in Christmas? I hope they have. I hope everyone's having a relatively calming Christmas, a soothing Christmas. Uh, anything better than the year we had was probably a good Christmas, <laughs> all in all. So there you go. Um, so in that first week of January, I'm going to pop that video up. And I might pop up maybe even all of the first, I think I've only done two Januaries. The two Januaries explaining what I was going to do that year and tell you exactly whether that happened. That'll be at the end of the video, just for a bit of fun. Um, and it's a bit like a, almost like um, a funny video and laugh at me at my expense. 
stop laughing at my expense. Um, <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> and I might pop that in and just let you know whether any of those items that weren't made in those years were definitely making in the 2021. I think I was up to date. The only thing I hadn't made, with, made was the fingerless gloves from memory. Um, and then we did those this year. But I could be wrong. I'm going to find those videos. <laughs> Hopefully I've still got them. <laughs> Sometimes the very old videos, I'll just say, oh, see you later. It's on YouTube. I don't care about it anymore. <laughs> the videos that don't mean much. <laughs> we are still having Christmas. Uh, good one here. Yes, we have. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. I celebrate it and have a good time. Uh, we had a few. My bed move, it's happening, happened before in high winds okay so he's probably just got some strong winds annoying workmen fixing the road as well that doesn't help uh better late than never kiki says <laughs> but you know <clears throat> we are going to do it that first week i always do that video in the first week of january explaining what's coming up in 2021 um I think the first time I did it, I was so overexcited. So we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And nothing happened. <laughs> no, it did. Um, that was when I didn't do the fingerless gloves. And I think there were a couple other things, but I did them towards the end of the year. Um, and we still haven't done, and I have promised Angela. And in fact, I'm going to make it my, I'm going to write it down. I'm going to make it my first point of call in January after the few interviews and after I've done a few projects that I still have on my list to do um, Angela's hexagon bag. She wants a hexagon bag done. We're going to make it my point of call to do that. All right, Angela, I hope you're happy with that. Either late January or early February, we are going to do that hexagon bag that you've been wanting because you keep asking me, and I said, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. And I just never get the opportunity to do it. So hopefully you do like that. I'm so excited for the new year and to see your list. Oh, the list is going to be huge. I actually, the thing is, I don't have a list as such. I just get on and I say, right, we haven't done one of those. We haven't done one. Right, we're going to do one of those this year. We're definitely going to do that. We might do that. Da, 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 da. And we end up doing everything except the one that I really wanted to do, like the fingerless gloves. And then eventually I do the fingerless gloves like, you know, two years later. So let's hope this year, what I say in the year, the only thing, like I said, I messed up was the fingerless gloves. I said we we're going to do it in the first year. We didn't do it. I said we we're going to do it in the second year, which was this year. Um, it's actually the third, second and the third year because the first year I didn't do too much. Um, and we did, but we did it right at the end of the year sometime. Uh, so what's new... Uh, that you're going to make now since Christmas is almost over. Um, for the week, I'm creating things just for myself. I'm fixing off, finishing off some um, commission projects that should have been finished a long time ago that it's due in January. So I really need to get them done this week, which is why I want to take a break. They're not that big. They're a little bit of leftovers, which is why I want to take a break. If I need to give them to the customer before I see you guys on the live, I'll do a small video or attach it at the end of one of my other videos and you can have a look, see at the items that were made. And I was going to put them in a nice box for the gentleman, but he said, no, 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 I've got a box. I'm popping that in as extras. So he's really put in a lot of effort for this cousin of his who's had, having the baby in January. Um, they're a very lucky cousin, i got to tell you. <laughs> a very lucky cousin indeed. So um, that's what I'll be doing this week, just finishing off those projects. I do have another project that I recently started that was also due in January. And it's like, remember our star blanket that we made, the five-point star? Um, someone did like it and she said to me, my niece is having a baby. Can you make me one? She's already paid me and I still haven't made it. So I'm going to make it this week. I'm already about you know, a quarter of the way through it. So I'm going to finish it off this week and just give it to her. She wants booties and beanie as well, but that doesn't take very long to make a newborn booties and beanies um so i'm going to be doing that this week so this week it's just finishing off commission projects that have already been paid for but i haven't given it to them so there you go how did we start with commission work how did you start well the commission work i actually don't i don't have a place where i say right if you want me to make that i'll make it for you i do but no one ever goes there it's like you know etsy and nomadic.com.au no one goes there. People don't go there for us here in Australia. They might, depending on what you make. I mean, if you're making jewellery or something, you're going to have people flocking to your, to your page. But when it's crochet and maybe even 
some knitting. A lot of people don't go there. Um, so the most commission projects I've ever made is with family and friends. And that's pretty much where it's been for me. Um, and that's uh, so cool. This year I made my neighbour down the street a little Afghan. That's nice. Her friend down the street for Christmas. Oh, she's a lucky neighbour. <laughs> that's nice. It's lovely. Um, so and when it comes to commission projects, you've got to be able to advertise. And it's all about advertising, but I don't do that. So I just, at the moment, just working for family and friends. Once I get a website up and running, then hopefully I can get commission projects from there by advertising the website. Just surprises, Mary. Don't overcommit yourself. Not this year. No, I won't. And in actual fact, everything I think I'll check my last year's video. <laughs> I hope I did. Um, everything I said that I would do in January, we actually did complete this year plus more. Because... This is why I do these little lists, because occasionally you guys come up with something, I think, why have I not thought of making one of those? Um, and so I wait a few weeks and, you know, wait for a catch up and then I make something. So we've made extra items that you guys have actually asked for. Um, and I hadn't thought that we would actually, I oh, will talk. Thank you very much, Kiki. Thank you, Kiki. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll explain that to you in a minute why. Um, she's talked about the slippers. Thank you. Uh, you need a rest next year. I need a little rest, but I won't be taking a very big rest because this is the only job I have currently. <laughs> so I need to get paid for something. So I'm going to be working still a lot, but I will take breaks, um, planned breaks. This year was just a really bad year and I just wanted to make sure that everybody was out there getting um, something for whilst they were home. Franca, welcome. I believe Franca is out of hospital. I hope you're resting up and you are feeling a little bit better. I hope so. Um, and uh, Kiki mentioned, uh, yet yeah, she had two daughter, daughters, they like them. Oh, that's good. That's good. Merry Christmas to you too, Franca. Kiki said the slippers. She's absolutely correct. Now, the reason we never done the slippers, there were two reasons. One, um, a lot of people kept saying they couldn't get the, the soles. They couldn't get the soles. We're a bit worried we can't find the soles, this and that. Um, you can get slipper soles online. I don't know exactly where. Um, I got them from a craft store here in Melbourne called Unwind Craft Cafe. And those of you have heard me talk about them. I got the slippers from there. If you are anywhere near Unwind Craft Cafe and you want the slipper soles, ask them. They can get they may not have them in stock, they might. Um, they can get them in for you. Um, they ordered them in for me and they came in. Um, took about two or three weeks and they came. So they might get them in quicker if you wanted them. I just said, look, there's no rush. You get them in whenever you get them. When they came in and I was, kept asking people, are we going to do them? What's happening? Da, 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 da. Everybody kept saying, we haven't got them. We haven't got them yet. Where can we get them? And so I held it off and then eventually I just never did it. <laughs> so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop the slippers in. In fact, that's a really good idea for the first few weeks of uh, January. Uh, hi dear teacher, um, happy, uh, happy Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Well, and to you too, uh, Deeg. Oh, I always get this name wrong. I hope it's Deeg, D Y G. Um, not sure how to pronounce it. I hope I'm doing it right. Um, and Happy and Merry Christmas to you too from wherever you are from. <laughs> I don't know where you, how you say it, where you're from, but here we just say Merry Christmas. But a Happy Merry Christmas to you too. Now, the slippers will definitely be done in the first two weeks. I feel guilty for mentioning the slippers. No, no, Kiki, I got it because we just, I was a bit worried that I'm going to do them and nobody's going to be able to do them with me because they don't have the soles. But you know what? I've got them and I'm just going to do them. Uh, had my bandage dressing changed yesterday and it's better. Oh, that's great, Frank. I'm glad you're um, feeling a lot better and I hope your package arrives soon. You know, um, you will find that the Christmas week would have put your package back another week. So however long it took last time, add another week. <laughs> uh, because that's what happens, you know, once you, you post something through the Christmas week, that's what happens. I saw somewhere that some soles were used for slippers. Yes, I'll talk to you about that as well. <clears throat> I, I will talk to you about that. Give me one second. Um, happy Christmas, guys. Hacker says, Yeah, finally, Frank, I'm so glad your foot is healing. Absolutely. Now, yes, a lot of people use um, thongs or um, flip flops in some countries, they're called here in Australia, they're called thongs. Most places, they call them flip flops. 
and they crochet around them as well. They use the soles of them. Like this is, a, don't look at this, this is a really old one. <laughs> so it's really old. I only wear this around the house. Um, so they crochet around that um, and it becomes their slipper sole. Personally, I'm a bit worried about that. I find that um, it depends on your feet. I like, this is why I wear thongs a lot. I like my feet to be aired a lot, which is bad because they're so dry and I'm constantly having to cream and do things to them. Um, but I don't like to wear closed shoes. And I wear them when I do the workouts on the treadmill because you, you can't wear no shoes and thongs on treadmills. Um, but other than that, I'm always either in thongs or sandals. So the problem with thongs is once you put yarn around them, wool or cotton even, it makes you overheat because it's made of, they're like rubber, you know, and it can make your feet overheat and make you sweat a lot in the feet and you don't want that. You want your foot to be dry. You don't want it to be too dry. <laughs> Um, what did you get for Christmas? I already mentioned that. Uh, my full name is Dayang. Oh, see, I can, I can handle that. Dayan, <laughs> I can say that. Or Dayan, or Dayan. Um, do you sell Ren wool? Do they sell Ren wool at Unwind Cafe? Yes, they do. The Ren I buy from Unwind Cafe, I have to be honest, I don't use it a lot. I only bought the Ren cotton from there because I needed something to match with the Bendigo Wool and Mills cotton so that I can get a better mix of colours. They had a few more colours in the Wren cotton for our poncho. I'm, I'm saying it over there because it's actually sitting on the sand. Um, <clears throat> and I bought it for that reason. Otherwise, I would never have bought the Wren cotton. So mm, there you go. Um, there's a little bit of trivia there. <laughs> um, over the near, in the new year, you're going to see different yarns coming in. This is why I'm going to be doing a D stash and if you weren't on our live the other day you would not know this um in the new year i'm going to be doing a D stashing it might happen in the first week or so it's called a D stashing and i will speak to margaret already by the way about her salvation army group <clears throat> and i'm going to be grabbing a handful of yarn and i'm going to be giving them away to certain subscribers not because of anything just because i want a D stash but I'm just not going to give it to them. I'm just going to ask questions. And if they give me the right answer, they'll get that yarn. What? <laughs> and along with the yarn, I bought, along with that yarn, a lot of books. You know, the, the magazines you get throughout the year, like I can't remember the names of them now, Simply Crochet and all those sort of things. I, I buy a lot of them. And I look at them once and then I pop them on a shelf. I have far too many. They will also be going in there as well. So it's literally a de-stashing. I'm getting rid of a lot of my older yarn. And this is yarn that I've probably had in stock for four, five years, seven maybe even. So it's not brand spanking new. It's not used. It'll, they'll all have their labels on them. I do not give away the used yarn. Used yarn I give away to um, schools and things and they can, the children can use them for whatever craft they want to use them for. Um, but the... Other skeins that I've had for a lot of years that I know I won't use anymore, I do a de-stashing. And this is one of my first major de-stashings. <clears throat> Thanks, everyone. Um, very expensive. Yes, they are. Uh, Mary, full of prayers and message. Oh, um, it means, oh, you're going to make us all sad in a good way. <laughs> but there you go. That's what we are doing in the new year. And we are definitely doing those slippers. You know why? Because I have the soles. In fact, one of the soles I left near the back window where the animals sit, uh, inside, they were outside, the soles were inside, and I left them there for a week in the sun, and the sun changed the colour of one of my soles. I should show you that when I'm ready to do it. Um, oh, you know who that cow of a hairdresser was who cut my fringe? Yeah, she was a cow. <laughs> she did it this morning in front of the mirror. <laughs> She's a real cow. I do my own hair. I have not been to the hairdressers in five years, maybe maybe now six, probably six. I cut my own hair. I colour my own hair. I style my own hair. Um, that's why when you see sometimes it's cut crooked here. Like that's always perfect. And this side here goes down there a bit because I, by the time I get across, I'm sort of like this. <laughs> so I do I cut my own hair. <laughs> Thank you for noticing, Franca. <laughs> so I did it in front of the mirror because it was down here. And I roll it under so that I don't have to cut it. And then eventually it just sort of flops during the day. And then I can't see. So I cut it this morning and I think I cut too much. Well, no, I didn't. The girl, the girl in the mirror did. 
the cow in the mirror <laughs> under my own hair as well. <laughs> Too many bad experience. You know what? My hair, it's not like this. Why, as you know, my hair's curly. And when I walk into the hairdressers, I go, oh, what can we do to your hair? Oh, no, 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 no. Just give me a trim. <laughs> Make a fringe and let me walk out. No, they want to do fancy stuff. They want to layer. They want to cut short. That's not happening. <laughs> it's so you. Well, in the old days, when I say old days, it wasn't that long ago, I never had a fringe. My hair would just loop down in front really long and all you'd see was this part of the face. <laughs> it really was. And then um, little bits after a while would hang off. Like the hair was over here and then this one bit would just sit there in front. And it was like a split so I thought, you know what, let's give it a fringe and see what happens. And I've had a fringe now for maybe 10 years, between 7 and 10 years. Um, but beforehand, it was always just long in front. And I used to wash it, put the mousse in, shake it up, and it used to just... <laughs> so I thought, there used to be a hairdresser that was really good. He, I only went to him because his mother's hair was exactly like mine. When he first did my hair, I said, how come you know how to do it perfectly? All these hairdressers, since I was a newborn baby, whatever, cannot do anything to the hair. He says, my mum has the same hair as you. I said, I love your mum. <laughs> your mum gave me the best hairdresser. So um, I went to him for years. And then one day I went back and the guy says, oh, no, he left. Where'd he go? I don't know. Oh, what? <laughs> and so after him, I never went to another hairdresser again. I did that day. I went to a hairdresser in the same place where he was. She was lovely, don't get me wrong, but she was like, oh, well, what can we do to your hair? No, <laughs> just cut it and let me walk out this much. That's it. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't, I don't go anymore. I just do it myself. It's so much easier. Now, part three. <laughs> we'll get on with it. Part three of the cushion, part four of the cushion. Uh, we have a hexagon bag coming up for Angela, who's been asking for years. Um, and we have the slippers that we need to finish. We will finish those slippers. And thank you for reminding me, Kiki, because I would have forgotten about it. And I have two packs of slippers. One I'm making for one of my sisters who's coming today. So she might want to have a look at that. Thanks for reminding me there too. And the other one um, I was just going to have for a tutorial online. I was actually going to make one for her and one for me. Hmm. But someone's foot is far too big for the slipper. I don't know who it is. It's one of us. Okay. Just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> My feet are too big. What do you want from me? And so I need to get the next size up. <laughs> so I have a spare pair of slippers. I might make them and sell them on the website when I get the website up. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. And so there you go. So we are doing the slippers. We're definitely doing the hexagon bag. Angela, get ready. That bag is coming. It won't be very soon. No. It'll be, you know late January or early Feb, so don't get too excited. But it is definitely coming. It's the hairdresser's feet that are too big. That's correct. It's not mine. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. I didn't grow them. She did. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> she grew them. She's such a cow. <laughs> moo moo. Hey, I love cows. <laughs> did you know that cows are my favourite animal? People laugh at me when I say that. People think, oh, it must be sheep and it must be like alpacas because, you know, you love yarn so much. No, I love my yarn, <laughs> but I love cows. <laughs> Look at them. They're so beautiful. They're just blobs and they just stare at you. <laughs> Moo. <laughs> and then they walk off. See you later. Yeah, cows are my favourite. Can we get back to business? <laughs> I was going to say cows are your favourite. They are. I know, right? Okay, <laughs> let's get back to business. Slippers, hexagon bag. <laughs> You love pigs. Pigs are cute though. Not the big ones, the big wild ones. You don't want to go near them. Oh my gosh. They, they are murderous. They, they're not nice. <laughs> they're criminals. They are. But normal pigs are okay. <laughs> don't go to the wild boars. Uh, I like this. I know. I was supposed to be on for half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. It's an hour and four minutes. Stop it. My sisters are going to be here any moment. <laughs> oh, they love the owls. Owls are nice. Um, I moo at every cow I see <laughs> live in Texas. Lots of cattle here. I'm moving to Texas with you, creative. Make some space for me. Uh, oh, Margaret's little mother. <laughs> creative, make some room. I'm coming. Oh, you like my laugh. You like to laugh with me. Oh, that's good. This is what we're here for. We're here to laugh. You know, at the end of the day, we're, we're living in this world. <laughs> we may as well laugh. We're going to cry.
<laughs> uh, creative says, yes, I'm moving in with creative. Woohoo! We're going to go move the cows together. <laughs> I can see that happening too. <laughs> I'm pretty game. Um, <laughs> when I get that opportunity to do some interviews this year, oh, by the way, I did send an email off to Hi, Candy. <laughs> Poor fella, he's thinking I'm not having anything to do with that channel. Um, I sent the email off to them. All they can say is no now. All they can say yes. I did say, <laughs> that's sad. Oh, that's terrible. You guys are naughty because you guys got me on saying that. It's because my fault too, because I said to you, what did I say? That some people say he's eye candy. And ever since then, it's become, it's very naughty. <laughs> very, very naughty on your part and mine. This is not professional. Let's remain professional. <laughs> anyway, I sent it to him. I said, uh, Tom slash your yarn and sheep department. <laughs> and I said, hopefully we can sort out getting together um, when you get an opportunity and maybe we can come up to the farm and do an interview. So let's hope they say yes. They may say, I'm sorry, we don't do that. And that's fine. We just, you know, take it all with a grain of salt. But I did send it off. I'm sending it off to two other companies this week. Get excited, guys, because that's when all the fun's going to start. People can just say no, or they can say yes. I don't know. You know, if they say no, oh, we shake their hands and we walk away. Or, you know, what is it? Elbow thing and walk away. And then we just go to the next person. <laughs> Eventually someone will say yes or not. <laughs> I could be interviewing myself. Hi, Mary, how are you? Oh, good, thanks. That's what you could get one day. No interviews for Mary. She'll just have to do her own. Um, hey, I can interview um, Guy. <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> Kiki's saying, yeah, go on, do it. I dare you. Um, I should try one day just for fun. Hey, I should do a live where I'll, I'll be somewhere and Guy can just sit here and do the live one day. <laughs> I candy Tom. <laughs> Poor Tom. He won't want to do this with us now. Because he'll say, how dare you call me I candy. I know I'm good looking, but don't do that. <laughs> the poor guy. Oh, I feel sorry for him already. What you ladies are going to do with that poor man. <laughs> I'm just going to be remain, remain professional. Um, then we get Franca to message them. She gets the answers. I know. Franca, what is it with you? You get the answers. <laughs> Franca, move in here. Come down to Melbourne. We'll show you a bit of crochet fun. She's going to come here and say, this is all you do? What is wrong with you, woman? <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> um, there is, oh, I forgot. I forgot. There is a fun video coming up. I forgot to mention. It's coming up in January. Now, I started this video last year, and it's probably only going to be about seven minutes worth. I started last year, and then that stupid year hit. I'm not even going to talk about the name of it. It hit, and I never got to complete it. I hope he is, he is actually, Franca, he is. If you um, get on the website and check him out, he is. <laughs> and I don't look, but there you go, because unless they were in crochet, I don't look like, ha <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Like our Mr. Harry Styles. Oh, upside down, love heart. Mr. Harry Styles. Oh, he's definitely getting our heart. He won our hearts. <laughs> and I was thinking, maybe we should just put hearts all over that top instead of just putting one. Help me out here, guys. I was thinking about it two days ago. I said, I'll mention it on the next live. And I forgot all about it. Um, oh, wait, this is the next live. <sighs> what? Shall we do, instead of doing one heart here, we'll do smaller little hearts all over that shirt. Top, whatever it is we're making. What do you reckon? Help me out, guys. <laughs> if you're watching this live after it's been done and you want to say yes or no, help me out. Shall we do a top all smothered in hearts instead of just one heart? I will message him, no problem. <laughs> Wait, Frank, I've already sent the email. And if he doesn't respond in about you know, seven minutes. <laughs> Creative says, reckon yes. She says, go for it. Let's do the 20,000 hearts. You know, 2.5 million hearts. They're growing bigger at the moment as we speak. Uh, Angela says, yes, I think we might do that. Instead of doing just one heart, why not smother him with hearts? 
what? I think we can do that. See how I put my foot in it? I think just one. Otherwise, too many he might not wear other than Valentine's Day. Hmm. I think about. Sounds like fun. Oh, a couple of people are saying yes. <laughs> why am I sitting like this? I don't know why. Um, <laughs> hello. <laughs> um, you should. So all Valentine's all over. I don't know, I've got a few yeses, here, Kiki, I don't know, let me think about it, I still haven't created it yet, this is what January was going to be for, and then once it's done, we were going to do the tutorial here, while I ship it off and let it go on its own, we were going to do a quick tutorial here on it, I mean, let's, notice how I say quick, nothing's ever quick for us here, <laughs> we always do things in a big way, don't we, even if it's a small little thing like this, it just becomes so big, um, it starts off small, I mean well, and then, oh, Oops, it's big. Um, so <laughs> let me think about it while I'm mucking around in January designing it. Uh, you should do a little hearts all over. I think that would be really cute. Little hearts would be nice. Let me think about it, guys. You see how silly I get? I put my foot in it so often, and that's just in one live. <gasps> what? Hang on. <laughs> Hello? Um, hang on a sec, because I'm still in the middle of a live. I'm coming. Do you want to come and join me? Okay. Guess what? That's my sister. She's coming today at live. Don't go away. So guess what? We have a visitor. <laughs> She's going to come and sit right here. This wasn't planned, by the way, guys. Oh, we're going to get in trouble. Grab a seat here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> That's my older sister, <laughs> Teresa. Excuse my hair. Saying, I think you should do little hearts. We're still talking about the um, oh, project okay. that we're talking about. Right. Oh, sorry, everybody. I put the hand in front of the camera. <laughs> Everyone, if you don't know, hello, Teresa, there we go. <laughs> Kiki saying hello. If you don't know who Teresa is, this is my oldest sister. I was supposed to be finished my live about an hour ago because I said it was only going to be a short one. <laughs> and I didn't get it finished, so I thought, um, I didn't think Teresa would be here. This, she did say 11 o'clock. Yeah, it's quarter past. Just I know, past. she did say 11 o'clock. Our other sisters aren't here yet. I know, they're coming and I was um, running late. <laughs> Uh, Merry Christmas, Therese. Everyone say Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Hello. Um, so this year... Ah, oh, yeah, happy Boxing Day. <laughs> it is Boxing Day. So this year's almost over for us here at Wild Crochet. And I mentioned to Teresa, and I, hopefully she can... Well, I'll have to go back and read those messages in a minute. Hopefully <laughs> um, she will say yes. Teresa, we mentioned that we were going to do um, a bit of Tunisian on the channel. Yeah, a little um, bit. I thought maybe I can come up at some stage this week and we can do some recording. Yeah, we could do that. Um, and what do you think of that, guys? Do you think we should do it this week? I'm not very good, but I'm good no, enough No, for me. She, don't listen to that. <laughs> She's fine. Don't listen to anything she says. Uh, this I'm, is a woman who helped. I, I, I'm good enough for me. <laughs> this is a woman who helped teach me. I thought maybe we'll do something small, like a little washcloth yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Something small. Yeah. Um, uh, she looks like you. So cute. Oh! oh! Who said that? I bet that was Blair. What's the, what's the bet? That was Blair. <laughs> was it Blair? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to head off. Um, we are getting together and we're going off to the cemetery to visit, you know, let, uh, past loved ones. Mm. And I will see you, won't be in the new year, I'm afraid, because I said I was going to take this a couple of days break this week. But I will be here on New Year's Eve to announce subscriber of the year. Um, oh, it's a shame it's not me. <laughs> you get wool from me, so what do you care? I get freebies from her. She gets free yarn. And I was given back in some form or another. Of a project, yeah. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, yeah. do all those wonderful things that you guys already do for me. And don't forget that we are doing some wonderful interviews in 2021. Say ciao to my sister. Ciao. <laughs> and everybody have a very good week for the rest of the week. And you will be seeing those interviews. They are coming. Have a great week. Enjoy over the seas. You're still having your Christmas. Enjoy your Christmas. 
for the rest of us happy boxing day and we will see you in 2021 ciao for now ciao for now <laughs> bye Oh, I've got to get in here. Hello, we've got to turn this off now. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Have you, have you got Wait. any